Okay, so what do we have here? Well, we have a math problem in the form of a sentence, and we want to solve it. So let's go ahead and read it, and uh, we'll talk about how to figure it out here in a second. But uh, let's take a look at the problem. So it says the product of a number and five times that number is 125. And the question is, what is the number or numbers? So that is the problem. And uh, the topic here is translating. We need to translate this English sentence, this sentence with words, into a sentence that involves variables. Okay, And we're going to form some sort of an equation. And then we're going to solve that equation. I kind of gave you a hint on what to do. Matter of fact, if you think you can solve this uh, problem, go to pause the video and put your answer into the comment section because I'm going to get to the solution here in just one second. And then we're going to obviously talk about how to solve this particular problem. And if you're taking any sort of algebra class, you definitely need to know how to translate uh, phrases, verbal phrases, into algebraic phrases. This is very, very important stuff especially when it comes to everyone's favorite topic, which is word problems, math, word problems. But anyways, we're going to get to all this in just one second. But first, let me quickly introduce myself. My name is John. I'm the founder of TC Math Academy. I'm also a middle and high school math teacher. I've been teaching math for decades, not one decade, not two decades, decades. Okay, I have a lot of experience. And over all those years, I've learned one thing, and that is all students can be successful in mathematics if you have the desire to learn math, okay, what you need is great math instruction, clear, understandable, and comprehensive. So if you need help in your current math course, or maybe you're studying for some sort of special test, uh, something like the GED, SAT, ACT, ASVAB, or your teacher certification exam, anything that has mathematics as part of that test, or if you homeschool, check out my math help program. I'm going to leave a link to it in the description of this video. I literally have over a hundred plus different math courses that cover these various categories. Now, um, if you're not a great note taker, you need to improve your math notes. Probably 90% of you out there could uh, stand to take better math notes. If you focus on your note taking, things are going to get much, much better. But in the meantime, you can use my notes. I'm going to leave links to those in the description of this video. And if this video helps you out, don't forget to like and subscribe as that definitely helps me out. Okay, so let's get to the solution to this problem, and then we're going to, uh, of course, talk about how to solve this problem. All right, so the product of a number and five times that number is 125. What is the number or numbers? Well, the numbers, plural, is both five and negative five, okay? So if you answered five, that's half correct. You also need that negative five as well. Okay, so that is the solution. And if you got this right, Nimi, go ahead and give you a nice happy face and A plus 100% and multiple stars so you can have an extra special day. Great job. Okay, nice, nicely done. And again, the topic here is translating. We need to translate this uh, verbal okay, sentence into something that we can understand mathematically or algebraically. And let's take a look at that now. Okay, so uh, yeah, actually I've been posting um, a few different videos uh, on this particular topic. So if this particular problem is a little bit more challenging for you, you might want to check out some more of my basic stuff. I'm going to give you some additional suggestions if you're struggling on this particular topic because this is a very common topic, of course, all of you will uh, see in algebra. It's typically one, it's generally taught in the beginning of algebra courses, but let's, let's talk about this particular problem now. Okay, so what we need to do is literally read the sentence one word at a time and replace these words, translate each word for something mathematically, okay? So a mathematical notation, and we're going to just do that now. So we have the product. Well, what does that mean, the product? Well, the product is the result of multiplication, okay? So the product of 3 and 2 is 6, okay? So the product is multiplying, okay? So the product is the result of multiplication. All right, so we need to just think of that. Well, okay, we're going to be multiplying something. Well, what are we multiplying? Well, the product of a number, okay? Well, we're multiplying a number. So what is a number in algebra? How can I represent this mathematically speaking? 
Well, uh, we can use a variable, right? Things like X, Y, Z. All these are placeholders. They represent a number in algebra. You can choose your variable. It doesn't have to be X, but uh, typically I wouldn't get uh, too fancy. You can use A or B or something like that. But, uh, you know, when in doubt, just use X. It's a nice, lovely uh, variable. So X just represents a number. Okay, so the product of a number, I'm going to just use X here and five times that number. So we have this number, and five times that number is what? Well, we, that number is x. What's five times that number? Well, it would be five times x. Five times x is five times that number, that number x we were talking about, okay? Now, in algebra, we don't write multiplication as uh, this way. Like when I want to multiply a number in a variable, five times x, you write that this way, 5x. 5x means 5 times x. So now we can kind of put this together, right? Or Well, not just quite yet. Actually, I got a little bit ahead of myself. Let's finish the uh, reading the sentence here, okay? So the product of a number and 5 times that number, so that's going to be x times 5x, all right, uh, is, now is, that when you see is uh, in a phrase, a verbal phrase, it's always the equal sign, okay? So it's is uh, or equal to 125, okay? So let's go ahead and read this again and put this together into a sentence. So the product, I'm going to be multiplying two things. So what are those two things? A number, which is x, so it's going to be x, and I'm going to be multiplying that x and what? Well, I'm going to be multiplying that x and five times that number x. So that's going to be 5 X. So uh, a number, okay, this is the product of a number and five times that number. The X times 5X is, is equal to 125. Okay, so this is probably the hardest part of that problem or the first phase of this problem. Uh, typically, uh, most students get confused over this, okay? But, you know, you just have to literally take it word by word. And a good thing you could do is to read uh, your translation and see if it makes sense uh, back in, uh, in other words, try to translate this way going back into the verbal phrase. So I'm like, okay, I have a number times five times that number is equal to 125, and that's effectively what that is there. Okay, so once we've translated this verbal phrase into a variable phrase or variable equation, now we just need to use our awesome algebra skills to solve for x, because x is the number, okay, the mystery number or numbers. So now let's go ahead and do that now. All right, so we have x times 5x is 5x squared is equal to 125. Now, uh, at this point, uh, some of you may not have studied uh, yet quadratic equations, okay? So quadratic equations is what we have going on here. Uh, it's basically a degree to polynomial, uh, a variable to the second power. I'm kind of oversimplifying. But the one thing is this. Once you see a quadratic equation, there's always two solutions, okay? Two solutions to, uh, to a quadratic equation. So right off the bat, you're like, oh, I got a quadratic equation. I'm going to have two answers, okay? So how do I solve this particular quadratic equation? Well, the easiest thing to do is to... Uh, isolate that x squared. I'm going to go ahead and divide both sides of the equation by 5. So 125 divided by 5 and 5 divided by 5 over here gives me x squared is equal to 25. Now I can simply just take the square root of both sides of the equation. So the square root of x squared is x and the square root of 25 is both a positive and negative 5. So that's why we have two answers to this, okay? Two answers, and uh, both uh, positive 5 and negative 5 would work, okay, in terms of satisfying this particular uh, problem, okay? The product of a number and 5 times that number is 125. Okay, so again, the topic here is translating uh, verbal phrases into variable phrases, variable expressions, or and or algebraic expressions. It kind of um, depends on your particular math class. You'll see it generally taught in the first chapter um, of your math course here uh, that involves algebra, whether that be pre-algebra, algebra one. But it's typically a topic like that. It's very important that you know how to translate because this is one of the primary skills you need to uh, have to solve word problems. So hopefully this video helps you out. If that is the case, don't forget to like and subscribe. And if you need additional help with this, 
I have uh, more videos on my YouTube channel with this, but you can go to my pre-algebra, algebra algebra one course or algebra two course, whatever level of algebra you're at. I have uh, formal instruction on this topic and much, much more. Okay, so with that being said, I definitely wish you all the best in your mathematics adventures. Thank you for your time and have a great day.